hear that terrible siren? I don't know what happened to the first clip. That's a, an emergency system at the city hall here. That's the Chateau de Merol. And we can see it from the top floor of this house we've rented for the week. And supposedly they light it up every evening and there's a fireworks display and guided visits uh, and stuff on Tuesday nights. And I think the market day in this village is Tuesdays. And this is the top floor of the house we've rented for the week and it's really charming. I really think that this house could sleep about seven people. Uh, and it would be really ideal for families to share, people with children, you know. This is usually what happens to us is we rent these places slightly off season and we get a good price, uh, but the places are <laughs> enormous. They're just way too big for two people. But it's nice. It's fun. I don't know how old this house is. And it's got a pretty big piece of property attached. And it's 305 euros for the week, but we will pay a tax, a holiday tax. There's a little sink thing here. And uh, some money for um, the utilities, which are metered. And <clears throat> we're going to pay for cleaning. Sometimes we clean ourselves, sometimes we pay to have it done. It depends. You know, every every place is rented by individual people who have their own thing that they want to do. So this is the... I guess they would call this the first floor. As an American, I would call it probably the second floor. And it's it's kind of nice. There's a balcony in the front of the house. And it gets very cold in the winter. And it's Indian summer here now, so it's very, very nice and warm. And uh, there's a lot of winter sports. There are a lot of winter sports done around here, a lot of skiing and stuff. And it is at very high altitude, and it does get very cold in the winter. Now this little house down here, I spotted this when we just came back from the store. Um, it's a weighing station. You know, people would come here, farmers would come and bring their potatoes or their onions or whatever, and they would be weighed here and then sold here in the market. You still sometimes see these things in market towns. This one might still be in use. I'm not sure. And my spouse is out walking around. He's probably up there at the top of the castle already. <clears throat> and everything is here in the village that we would need but we can drive a few kilometers away if we really want to and do other things. But it's a very small village. And she said that she fixed this room up for us. These windows are, uh, excuse me, these mirrors, there are enormous closets behind here. She said uh, because it's the quietest room. <coughs> and all of this down here is the property. This garden over here is the neighbor's, but all of this here belongs to the landlady. And that little building down there is a garage that we could use if we want to, but we don't really feel that we need to. And so there's terrace and barbecue and a place to hang your clothes to dry. And the people next door have a vegetable garden. And this is a little studio. There's, a, there's another little house, and then there's a little studio here. But there's nobody here right now because it's September already and it's already back to school time so we're no longer here on vacation during peak season
There's an insane amount of uh, cooking stuff here. Wow! And there's real silver <laughs> for all you silver bugs there. Now, now, don't steal. Really, uh, I buy a lot of stuff like that for people in the United States. It's very, very cheap. A lot of people don't want to bother with using it anymore. See, these are this is real silver, you know. And she's just got tons of glasses and dishes. This is a sitting room. The f this is the front door, and it opens right onto the the main square. Let's see if I can remember how to open this. Yeah. So, there's just like tons of stuff here, you know. This place is like way better equipped than where I live. There's first aid supplies and just all kinds of stuff, you know. There's cooking. This, this is a washing machine for clothes. A lot of French people don't have clothes dryers. This is a dishwasher. She's got tons and tons and tons and tons of all sorts of cooking supplies. Which is great, because usually I cook when we're on vacation, and I love to cook, it's no problem. And uh, he says we're going to be eating in restaurants, this is normal flatware. He says we're going to be eating in restaurants more on this trip, oh joy. We must be millionaires. He's never said that before. But we made some money this year. Lots and lots and lots of supplies. Now, the woman doesn't speak a word of English. So if you want to rent a place like this, you know, you probably would want a local, such as myself, to arrange it. It was a little bit hard to select the place and to contact the lady. And, you know, the contract goes back and forth and snail mail. And you have to... Um, get some insurance things taken care of. It's really not that complicated usually, but everyone who rents, it, it's different. They have different arrangements. And really the best deals are renting private furnished places like this. And um, I find that they're the most charming and everything. Uh, but they really, they only speak French. You know, let's be realistic here. You know. And this woman was really a talker. She showed us everything that was very nice of her. She showed us everything in the place, you know. But, um, you know, it was all in French. So, <laughs> so there you go. So that's the rental. And it's a Saturday. And this region is known for um, wonderful cheeses, certain types of meat, some wines, um, lots, of, lots of food products, dairy products. Uh, there's a sabotier near here, one of the last three in France. They make wooden shoes. People still want them. They still wear them. They last a lifetime. And uh, it's cool. It's very practical here. You know, there are bathrooms everywhere. When I first got over here uh, using the fixtures, um, the door handles, the windows, it was all different for me. The electrical things, uh, the way the appliances work. So I had to have a lot of things shown to me and re-shown to me and... Uh, I had to try hard not to break anything. All right, so that's it. See you later. Bye.